Chris Wallace, Fox News Sunday anchor, Dana Perino, host of The Daily Briefing, co-host of The Five, Juan Williams, also Fox News political analyst, co-host of The Five. Chris, now we start to look forward, right? And this transition time is a time when uh, the Biden camp will start playing the parlor game of who's going to be Secretary of Defense, who are going to, who's going to be filling out the cabinet. Uh, you're already hearing names like Michelle Flournoy at the Pentagon, the first possible female defense secretary. This is where we will be sh shortly, uh, even as these legal challenges are going forward. Absolutely. We're told now that uh, on Monday, the first thing that uh, President-elect Biden is going to do is he's going to name a coronavirus task force uh, and, and uh, to basically make the message that more important than a chief of staff, more important than some of those cabinet positions that you're talking about, is we're going to take this COVID crisis facing the country seriously uh, and we're going to deal with it. And I think you're going to see them roll out uh, some policy ideas, some personnel ideas, and make it clear, you know, regardless of what the president does, they're moving uh, full ahead. In these, in these closing moments, I just want to say one thing. Uh, the power of what we are seeing right now, I mean, you had Ari, Ari Fleischer and Mark Thiessen, two rock rib Republican uh, fighters, and they began their appearances here tonight, today on Fox, saying congratulations to President-elect Joe Biden. Here we have on Fox the, the, the Chiron at the bottom of the screen, the headline, Joe Biden elected 46th president of the United States. On Fox, uh, you see these, uh, the, the crowd celebrating uh, in the streets of New York and, and other cities across the country. Uh, you know, there's a, a tremendous momentum. You know, we just called this race just before noon. It's just before two in the east now. And there's a tremendous momentum that is already picking up that, that Joe Biden is the duly elected president of the United States. Uh, the, the President Trump may be uh, digging in his heels and he may have his lawyers out. But, you know, there was a, a fictional bartender at, uh, uh, named Mr. Dooley around the turn of the century. And he famously said a quote that lived long after the stories about Mr. Dooley that said, the Supreme Court follows the election returns. And you got to think, with all of this momentum, building up and, uh, uh, you know, around the country and in the news media uh, that, that it's going to be awfully hard for any judge, or let alone a Supreme Court justice, to put their foot in the door unless there is very strong evidence of industrial strength uh, election fraud. And we've seen none of that so far. All right, Chris, thank you.